Okay, so this is WordPress installed inside our htdocs folder. We've got simple WordPress, all of our stuff. We go into themes. There's our simple WordPress theme with our simple little four files right now. Now, what we want to do is install it. So we're going to go to the browser, and once we type in localhost forward slash simple WordPress, that's going to point directly to this folder. So, and then what it's going to do is it's going to create a config file. It's going to work with your settings and you're going to tell it about your database. And so let's do that. So we go to our URL and we type in simple WordPress and it says this information and it's going to create the configuration file. Now it wants to know our database information. And we enter our database information by going to localhost PHP my admin. Now, depending on when you installed XAMPP or MAMP, your PHP admin interface will look a little bit, little bit different. They update it. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but it's generally the same thing. So, what we want to do is we actually want to create a database. So, you click on the database tab and then you type here, and I'm going to say simple. Now, we usually do dashes, but for databases, um, it's preferred to use an underscore. So we're going to use a simple WordPress with an underscore. And then we create it. And that's it. And the database has been created. Then we jump back to our install using the browser. And this is the database page. So now we can continue on with that. So we hit let's go and it's going to say what's the name of your database? Well ours is simple underscore WordPress. We just created it. And our username is going to be root. And for XAMPP, there is no password. For MAMP, there is a password of root, which is the default install for, um, for MAMP. And database host is going to be localhost. Uh, and table prefix, you're going to keep that as WP underscore. Hit submit. And it's all ready to run. So you run the install, and then it says you want to enter in your information. We're just going to call this simple WordPress. Uh, username, uh, for now, um, we'll call it uh, simple um, Actually, you know what? Let's just keep it to admin. Password A12345. A12345. And your email, you can put this um, at whatever, because we're just testing this. So I'm just going to put joe at joe.com. And right now we're not live, so we don't need to worry about the search engine. So we hit install WordPress. And now it is, uh, once it goes through here, it's installed and we log in with admin A12345 and okay so now we're in and we say hey uh, we want to change the theme so we go to appearance this is the, the back end of, de of WordPress and we go to themes and we should see our um, simple WordPress and if we activate it and we go to simple WordPress now the live site by clicking on this icon here we see this it's not showing our uh, CSS but if we look at the source it's all there um, but if we click this it doesn't find our CSS and there's a reason for that and we'll talk about that in the next video